Sticks hit with more power than nunchucks. Shadowversity is right in his response video to me and focusing on all of these factors, impact duration, apparent mass, impulse, you do definitely get more power transitioning to two hands with a stick than you do using a nunchuck with two hands. But what I find really interesting about this data is you don't really use a nunchuck in two hands. Comparing chuck to stick one-handed, that's where it gets really interesting for me. Shadowversity covers how all of these factors go into the power of a weapon, and please let me know if there's a better way of doing this. But taking the average distance across the board of all of these factors, the stick performed 5% better than the nunchucks. Until new data comes out, the stick has more power. That aspect of Shad's two years quest is correct. But when both the nunchuck and a stick are terminal, is 5% a significant enough difference or should we look at other factors when determining which is better? Stick has a lower learning curve, but how relevant is that when taking years of Kali will make you even better? Nunchucks can fold, so better concealment. And yes, you can just have a walking stick as a walking stick, but as somebody who worked security for over half a decade, someone untrained might not notice, but a professional will definitely notice that. Both offer things that the other doesn't for grappling, so in the end, they're really just two different weapons.